Netiquette Rules by Carrie Christensen Or How to Avoid the Netiquette No-Nos Avoiding the Netiquette No-Nos The number one rule is follow the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you, which means treat other people the way you would like them to treat you. If you want respect, treat others respectfully. The Golden Rule in Action Be positive when you talk with others. This is especially true when you offer constructive criticism. Use good manners. Please and thank you are always important in all conversations. If someone upsets you, do not send a reply in anger. Cool down and then respond. Be patient when you are waiting for a response. Before you hit the send button, think, how would you feel if you received the message you just wrote? A note about cyberbullying. Cyberbullying is when you tease, harass, or bully someone online. This can be through emails, social networking sites, text messages, blogs, discussion boards, etc. It is just as bad as if you bullied someone in person. Just because you can't see someone when you send them a cruel message, it doesn't mean they are not hurt by what you said. Cyberbullying can get you in trouble at school, at home, and by the police. Remember, think before you hit send. Does your message follow the golden rule? If not, delete it. Emoticons in the online classroom. Emoticons are the face type items above. These are often used in communications with your friends and family in text messages or emails. It is acceptable to use emoticons when talking with your teacher and classmates. Emoticons will convey your emotions to the others in the classroom. Do not use an emoticon in your final work. Work that is submitted for grading and as a final representation of your best work will look unprofessional when emoticons are added. Acronyms in the online classroom. Acronyms are used much less in an online classroom. They can be difficult to understand and can lead to confusion in all methods of communication. Only use the acronyms approved by the teacher. Approved acronyms are acceptable to use sparingly, which means a little, on the discussion board. Do not use acronyms in your final work. Like emoticons, it makes it look unprofessional. It is always better to write out your thoughts completely. Asynchronous discussion rules, which are rules used for email, discussion boards, and blogs. It is important to use correct spelling and grammar. Make sure you respond to your teacher and classmates in a timely manner. If you are given a deadline for posting to the discussion board or blog, make sure you post by that time. If you have difficulty using these discussion methods, let the teacher know immediately. Do not type in all capital letters. It represents anger. Do not share personal and private information. Synchronous discussion rules, which are rules for live chats and web conferences. Be patient and take turns while people are talking. Do not interrupt. Before a live classroom session, make sure you have everything set up to prevent technical issues. Stay on topic. This is not the time to discuss your favorite video game or what you are doing this weekend. It is important to be on time and prepared to participate. If the discussion involves typing comments, do your best to use correct spelling and grammar. Posting on the Internet It is very important to remember that whatever you post on the Internet is permanent. Even if you go back and delete your post later, there is still a trail that can lean back to that post. People also may print off what you have posted. Also, when you post, the whole world can read what you have written. Be careful about the information that you share concerning yourself, friends, and family. If someone that you do not know tries to contact you through the internet or email, let your teacher or parents know right away. Do not post personal pictures on the internet unless you get permission from your parents or teacher. Review of Netiquette No-Nos Follow the golden rule. Do not become a cyber bully. Use emoticons to convey emotions when appropriate. Acronyms are used sparingly. Be polite. Use your best spelling and grammar. Final work should always look professional. Review continued. Complete assignments by the deadline. Be on time to live class sessions. Posting on the internet is permanent. Be safe and think before you post. Read and reread before hitting the send button. If you have technical issues, let your teacher know. Do not post personal information or pictures on public sites. 
If you still have questions or concerns, make sure you contact your teacher right away.